Hey guys, and welcome back to Hobo of Wood. I'm going to make a very short video this time. I have some that are rather lengthy and some that are quite short. And this one is going to be a fairly short one. I'm going to talk about a feature that I'm getting ready to use in part two of my pet feeder project. Um, and I'm going to be talking about in this short video about the radius feature in Lightburn and how it works and what do the, the numbers mean. Because I wasn't sure I was using it, but I didn't know what I was doing when I did it. So I said, you know what? Let's understand what this, what you're doing and why and why it's doing what it's doing. So if you want to understand and learn more about how radius works and how to use it properly, at least as much as I can figure it out, stay tuned. Let's get started. All right, let's go to Lightburn. All right, we got a blank workspace and I'm going to create a rectangle, put it on my cut path so we can see it better. And we're going to make it a four inch by four inch rectangle. Hit control D to duplicate it. And move it out of the way. And we're gonna make that one three inches by three inches. Control D, move it out of the way. Make this one two by two. Control D, and one more time. Make this one one inch. Okay, now we've got four rectangles, four, three, two, and one. <clears throat> With our selector tool, we're gonna select the first one and we're gonna hit our radius button. There we go, you actually hit the curve of the radius, not the numbers, the radius there. All right, now, it has these numbers down here, 0 0.394. I don't know, I'm, and, and that you can change them using your up arrows. Uh, and I had no idea what these numbers meant when they meant what they meant. And so I, I wanted to understand what they're doing. So, I tried this, and this is how I began to comprehend what's happening. So if I set this number, this value, to 1, and I come up here to the corner of this rect or this square, you know, this is what the, the one that's selected, and notice the mouse will change to a crosshairs when you get to that corner. You click on it then, and it's a radius. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little tighter on here. So undo, you click your radius button, you set your value, and I'm using one in this case, crosshairs, and select it's a, an instant radius. Now, when I did this using intentional four by four square and did a one, I did that to see if I was my speculations were correct that that is uh, in this case it's one inch. If we take this one inch square and select both of them and move it to the top left, we can see that that radius is exactly one inch. So it begins and ends at the corner of each of those of that opposing corners on that one inch square. So it stood to reason that if I did, if I select just this square, select the radius, and I increase that to a two and come to this one, I should have a two inch by two inch radius. I said, okay, well, that's looking good. So confirming my suspicions, Take my two by two, move it to the top right, and you can see that, yes, that worked. Now, there have been times when I've been trying to use the radius feature, and it wouldn't work for me, and I couldn't understand why, but <clears throat> now I do. We select that same four by four square, come down to radius, and we're going to take this to three, and I come to this corner, see my mouse is an arrow, 
it stays. I come to that corner and it will not do anything. I can click it all day long until I'm blue in the face. It's not going to do anything. But if I come over here to this one, I got crosshairs. And if I align these to the bottom left, you can see that that's, and we're going to, I'll, uh, no, I don't do that. So there's a one by one, a two by two, and a three by three. So the reason you couldn't use the three on this corner, <coughs> excuse me, is because, undo it completely, there. A three by three on this side would need to come three inches to the left and three inches north. And we don't have three inches north because two inches up is where this radius begins on this one. So you'd been into this radius trying to create a three inch radius. Can't do that. So now I have a better understanding of why it does what it does when it does what it does. So I hope you found this helpful and experiment and play with that. You'll find more instances where this will come in handy. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell. I'm in the middle of a project. I'm getting ready to start part two of a pet feeder design that's on a stand that I uh, used Maker Case to create two boxes, then went in and edited those boxes to create a pet feeder. So you're going to want to look uh, at for video part one and part two and possibly part three where I'm going to go in and start doing some design work and some uh, creating earrings out of the waste material from the pet feeder. And I'm going to be doing the earrings while it's cutting out the pet feeder. I'm going to be accomplishing two projects at one time. And I may it may take three videos to do that. But subscribe to the channel if you like this, if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends that are in the community and uh, continue to watch. Thanks. It's been Hobo for Wood. See you next time.